Hi, I'm Lorna Lee, host of Entrepreneurs for a Change, and this video series is about how to build a kick-ass website. So for those of you who have chosen to build your business website on self-hosted WordPress.org, one of the questions that comes up is whether or not you should go with a free WordPress theme or whether you should invest in a professional WordPress theme. Now, I know it might be tempting to bootstrap as much as possible in the beginning of your business, but I highly recommend purchasing a professional WordPress theme. And that's because there are three deadly pitfalls to using a free WordPress theme. Danger number one, malware. A lot of free WordPress themes are released into the world with a specific intention to distribute malware. So if you want to avoid having your website turned into something that is filled with hidden links to some kind of, um, you know, porn or, you know, Viagra or diet pill website, then I would avoid getting a free theme off the internet. Um, you know, you can go with free themes that are available in the WordPress.org theme directory, but a lot of those themes, while they might be vetted for certain things like malware or, you know, uh, viruses, they have other issues too. So danger number two is the theme might be really poorly coded. Now, how this matters to you is that a theme that is poorly coded might have issues every time there is a WordPress upgrade. So, for example, the theme might break or, you know, it might just not be coded in an efficient way so that there's a lot of extra code that could get in the way of search engine spiders crawling your website and accessing your content. So poor coding is something to be avoided. And usually professional theme developers do make an effort to release themes that are um, coded in a clean and efficient way. However, not all of them. I have in the past purchased a pro theme that was poorly coded and had all the common issues of a free theme. So just because you're paying for a theme doesn't mean you're getting a well-built WordPress theme for your website. A third danger that you have to be aware of is that these free themes, because they're free, they're not necessarily maintained by the WordPress developer that created it. So that means that every time WordPress updates, which is about you know three to four times a year that they have a major upgrade, the theme could possibly break. Now themes tend to break a lot less frequently than plugins do, but if you're dealing with a theme that no longer works every time you have a WordPress update and then you have to go out and try to fix the theme or hire someone to um, fix the theme for you, then that's a lot of time, energy, and money that you're spending trying to fix your website and not focus on your business. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode of How to Build a Kick-Ass Website. And if you'd like to find out more information, feel free to go to entrepreneursforachange.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Bye-bye.